you know, one of my favorite things when I do workshops, I was just up in Portland this uh, last weekend. Uh, I do another one tomorrow morning, which just amazes me. But uh, as, I re- as I review everything I teach in coaching and throwing, uh, coaching football, helping with wrestling, uh, teaching poetry classes, it, it seems to me if that if there is a secret to all this stuff is repetition. Uh, my old job uh, when I was administrator, I had a sign on my desk, repetition is the mother of implementation. And I love that phrase. Uh, a buddy of mine did it in Latin. I don't remember how it goes now. But uh, one of the things, as I go through every area of life, the same truths happen over and over. Um, you know, you don't marry somebody and you say, I love you. And that's just going to have to do for the next 50 years. Uh, you know, it's, it's repetition. So what we have here is my now what grid from the book, now what? And this is the way my brain works, folks. So just get used to it. So there's four quadrants. We have a four quadrant here. And there's some words on the top, health, longevity, fitness, and performance. I use Maffey Tone's definition for health. That's the optimal interplay of the human organs. And you find out your health by blood tests, by going to the eye doctor, the dentist, the medical doctor. Um, yesterday I gave, uh, it's called Power Red. It's, uh, I give two whole units of blood about three or four times a year, and they return the plasma to me. And it brings my hematocrit levels down. I, uh, as I age as a male, my body is rusting itself out. And one of the easiest ways to deal with this is to donate blood. And not only that, is that I help, as I was told yesterday by the nice young lady, I help 14 people. So win-win for the community and myself. Flossing your teeth every day, twice a day if you can, that's health. And if your teeth are healthy, generally your cardiovascular system is healthy because you're not pumping infection around uh, your body every time your heart goes like this. Longevity is two things, uh, quantity and quality. My wife's family, uh, the Hemingways, they live a long time. Um, my family, not so much, but our quality of life is ex- extraordinary. Yeah, I think back, my brother Phil, you know, I just buried him a, just a few weeks back now, and uh, he was friends with Ron Howard. He was friends with Arnold Schwarzenegger. The San Francisco Chronicle wrote an article about him, about how he showed up so much. And maybe my brother Phil died young, but he had a thousand people at his funeral, including every fire engine basically in Northern California. So maybe his quantity wasn't high, but his quality was. The word fitness, I, 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 I picked that t- uh, definition up from my old uh, high school friend, uh, Charles Darwin, uh, who cheated off me in biology. Uh, it's the ability to do a task. And I like that. You know, if you win the Ironman triathlon, but you've got brain cancer, you're not healthy but you're fit to win that race. And then, of course, there's that last word, which I live. This is the people I work with, performance. That's one of my favorite things to do is hang out with my friends over at Mark Fisher Fitness who are Broadway stars, TV models, uh, guys on movies. It is weird sometimes now I watch movies and go, hey, I know that guy. Uh, It's delightful. But the thing I learned from actors, actresses, musicians is how to perform. See, my athletes and me, someone calls my name and I have to step up and go. I can't say, oh, I did the workout this morning and I've I've already put it up on the whiteboard. No, no, no. Right now, 9 a.m., Spokane, June 26th, John, you're up. I step in the ring. That's performance. Now, on the grid that's in front of you, I have things that are once or twice and things that are ongoing or permanent. I believe that anything anything that you can do once or twice twice i use rob wolf's great term shark habit one bite and it's gone on your notes there i put it in red it these are take things off the table get them out of your head and it's funny i'm very good at filling out the form uh i check the box i write the check uh i my daughter just got married let the bride know you're coming And then as we move up to ongoing things that are health and longevity, I use Pat Flynn's term, pirate maps. Uh, Pirate maps. Go to St. John Island, find the white coconut tree, take seven uh, paces to the west, dig down, there's your map. Um, This is what I call, this would be like, do this from now on. On the back of my computer here, I have my daily pirate map. I start off with my sleep ritual the night before, I make coffee, I make my to-do list, 
I wake up, I'm grateful. I do a one moment meditation every day. A couple days, uh, three days a week, I do my ABA, BAB workouts with Ben. And then I do original strength. And then number five is eight different vegetables a day. I figure if I do that every day, if I follow that every day, that's probably statistically the best things I can do to be around in 20 years. So this is checklists. These are menus. Uh, I got shopping lists. I can't imagine a refrigerator without a shopping list on it. I've been, <laughs> I've been doing this since uh, eight, late 80s, early 90s. And I go to the store. I always have a shopping list. That way I don't have to go to the store twice. You know, because you always go back for something like ice or something like that because you forgot. So you have to have a shopping list. In fitness and performance, there's an interesting thing down there that says peaking, planning, and programming. And the funny thing is I don't necessarily believe in any of those. Now, I do, but I don't. And this is do this until. Uh, the knock I have on all that stuff is life gets in the way, man. So the very first thing I do when I – even myself or if I work with somebody is I get out those – you get them at office space or office space. We'll leave that because that's actually funny the way I said that, if you know the movie, the 12 month calendar. And I tell the person we got a uh, we got a red pen, we got a yellow highlighter and a green highlighter. And you go through with the red pen and you X out all the dates. You're not going to be able to do anything. And the person goes, No, I'm here all the time. Okay, uh, you're going on vacation. Oh yeah, we're going to Jamaica for two weeks. So you'll be here. You're going to fly in every morning, work out with me, and then fly back to Jamaica every day. Well, no, that's silly. Here's the red pen. Oh, yeah, I get what you're saying. Uh, oh, my daughter's wedding is on a Friday. Uh, you going to come in that morning and work out with me? No, it'll be in uh, it'll be in Nevada. Do you want to maybe X out that weekend? So you X out all those dates. Now, I, I think it's appropriate to X out New Year's. Uh, I would X out some bowl uh, during the Christmas time, some of the bowl game days, because I just know that I'm going to be sitting in front of the TV watching 17 bowl games. I know that. So why even plan for it? Okay. Uh, it can be your, if you're a, an accountant, it could be most of the month of April. If you're a school teacher, September, October, uh, maybe August, September, depending on your school system. Certainly May and June, I would be careful. If you're a coach, you got to, I wouldn't say, okay, oh, now, see, now we're starting to go. <laughs> then the next color is yellow, and that's cautionary times of the year. And you'd yellow out those days where things are going to be around. Like, you know, it wouldn't be. You're not like in another country, but there's going to be a burden of stuff on you. Um, from most people I know, it'd be the probably from Thanksgiving to New Year's, where it's like things are going to come up during these six weeks. And then finally, the next thing you do is you take out the green pen. And then you kind of box out those times when you can go for it. And my experience and the experience of many other people, it comes down to this. Most people can go for it about two times a year from about three to six weeks, which ties in directly to my concept of the bus bench. I never realized how right I was, <laughs> that sounds so full of myself, how right I was about bus bench workouts until we started doing the calendar uh, assessment. Um, and then following that, then we can kind of go, okay, from Thanksgiving to New Year's, just try not to be too stupid. Try to come in two, three days a week if you can, Let's do the fundamental works. Let's get a little bit of heart rate going. Let's do some mobility, mobility, flexibility, and let's always eat. For every drink you have, have a glass of water and always eat every vegetable that's offered before you eat anything else. Pretty simple. I think it is. And finally, it comes to where I live, and that's basically principles. Principle comes from the root. Prin, prime, first. And simple comes from the same root as capture. Principle means to take first, to capture first place. And our job in coaching is to find out those things that win. Now, in my world, uh, in discus throwing, throwing is pretty simple. Throw far. That's the principle. Now, we can spend hours discussing the, the nuances, but really it comes down to throw far. In American football, John Heisman told us in 1931, block, tackle, and fall on the ball. And yet you can watch the Super Bowl and watch people not fall on the ball, miss tackles, miss blocks, and cause them a Super Bowl. So what our job is in performance is to find out what's crucial, what's true, what's real. And then my job is to repeat it to death. So if you fall, let's now review all four boxes. 
Shark habits. What I'm trying to do in shark habits is get it done. Clear it. And every day I'm trying to clear that table, clear that table, clear that table. With shark habits, these are the five things that I think are the best thing for my life. I'm going to repeat those 365, 366 every four years, days for the next 20 years. And over time, we're going to build it to here. In principles, we're going to find those things that work. And we're going to beat those to death as a coach, as a trainer, as a parent, as an investment uh, strategy. That other box on peaking planning and programming, those are those little moments in life where you take time out and focus. I think retreats are wonderful for people. I think they can be life-changing. I know of people who have gone to couples retreats, and it's really energized their marriage. But you can't, you can't be at a couples retreat 52 weeks a year. It just it wouldn't work. Uh, I think it's important to have quality time with your kids. You know, take them to the happiest place on earth. We won't give uh, we won't give any money to Disneyland, and take their cell phones out of their hand. Don't let them have any social media, and walk around and spend the day together. But you can't go there every day all the time. So, Mass Made Simple is a wonderful program, and people. One guy said to me, "If so good, why don't you do it all the time?" And I just looked at him like, "Obviously, you've never done it once, have you?" Well, no, I'm just. Yeah, I know you haven't done it. You know, I know you haven't done it because you said that statement. So for me, the master quality for coaching in life is repetition. If you want to lose, well, if you don't want to get fat in the first place, to quote Art Devaney, um, eat quality, sensible, vegetable based with protein, with water meals two to three to four times a day for the next 20 years and don't ever miss one. I think that would work. You got to repeat that though. You, you want to have a good relationship, uh, be a quality person who wants to spend time with that person and repeat that over and over and over again. If you want a good dog like I have over here, Sirius Black, you need to brush him and take him for walks and let him know you love him. Uh, there's no, there's, there's very few secrets in life. And success is the simplest secret. You got to do what's right over and over and over.